good morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time of day you may be viewing this. I'm Akeem Holmes, a Sustainable Agricultural Specialist with the National Center for Appropriate Technology, NCAT. Today we're in Webb, Alabama to meet with a partner farmer with the Nuno Florida Cooperative, Bobby Reynolds. He will be giving us a quick overview of how he got into farming and their winter turnip green crop, which they market via the Farm to School Network in Alabama. Stay tuned. Can you give us your name and a little bit of your backstory of how you got introduced to farming? Yes, yes. My name is uh, Bobby Reynolds. Um, being introduced to the farmers was uh, uh, from from birth. I mean, we was always mama, my dad, my granddad, grandma. We always farmed. They always showed me their the tricks and the trades with it. Starting out with a hoe, you know, and so it, it come a long way. It come a long way. Oh man, that's awesome. So can you give us a little breakdown of what farming means to you beyond just the physical act of planting or harvesting crops? Well, basically farming means to me is, is like the life giving blood that we have. Um, without food, how can you live? And when I realized that at a young age and I began to taste the different foods when mom cooked, I just knew right then I wanted to be a farmer to make sure all our children uh, across the whole country have a very special diet and, and it all starts in the farm. That's awesome. That's awesome. So since we're out here, do you mind, you know, give us a quick tour of your setup out here on your farm and what you got out in the field growing? Yes, sir. Come on. All right. Yes, we are out here at the green field and we are out here trying to check out the greens, but this is our winter crop. And um, if y'all happen to take a look at this video, you'll see we have already cutting some of these greens and um, we are trying to get them to grow for the second crop here. Um, anywhere between seven uh, to 21 days, you begin to see a, a uh, brand new foliage and we haven't too long cut these and uh, so hopefully in the next 10 to 12 days we'll be back out here re-harvesting out for our second crop and so I was just inter hoping y'all interested in our irrigation crop and um, so far this year we had a very very extreme wet winter but uh, a lot of times we have a drought and uh, this is our irrigation system which is uh, overhead sprinkler system and uh, it does very well and uh, we're, we're pleased to have it. Okay, long years ago, this is the way we used to cut our greens. We'd get that knife and, and we'll come down and we'll cut them and this is the way we harvest them. But now we have a new, better system. As you see right over there, our new green harvesting. Uh, takes away a lot of the bite breaking. Yeah, so talk a little bit about the new traditional uh, green harvester here that really takes a lot of work out of it. These are the fingers and where the greens actually goes up into and dumps out on a conveyor belt in the backside and go up the chute into a trailer that's uh, right under beneath it. And so it really takes a lot of the uh, time and uh, back breaking out of it because this thing is really fast and it can harvest a, a, a lot of greens in a short period of time. Thank y'all for having us today, but uh, um, maybe on a later date, maybe this summer, uh, when we do other by our other uh, vegetables like butternut squash, sweet corn, y'all will be able to come out and, and be able to see this firsthand and, uh, and observe how we uh, gather it, process it, and the whole thing, uh, you know, to do with uh, vegetables. And uh, we, like I said, we thank y'all for having us today. 
On behalf of the National Center for Appropriate Technology, I want to thank Mr. Bobby and the Nuno Fuller Cooperative for allowing us to record this vlog and share their farm. We hope to return later this year to record and share more aspects of their agribusiness operation. Stay tuned.